Michael E. Hagerber, The E-Myth Revisited. Are you an entrepreneur or a skilled professional who has considered starting your own business? In The E-Myth Revisited, Michael E. Gerber reveals the common misconceptions that could make your venture fail. Using the concept of the E-Myth, entrepreneurial myth, Gerber emphasizes that technical skills are not enough to run a successful business. This book summary guides you through the vital stages a business goes through, from infancy to maturity. Discover the importance of developing an entrepreneurial perspective, understanding the different roles in your business, and embracing the turnkey revolution. By the end, you'll gain insights on how to build a franchise prototype, devise a management strategy, and continually improve your business development process. The E-Myth Demystified Learn why technical expertise is not enough for entrepreneurial success and how it leads to the failure of most small businesses. Do you excel at technical work and have brilliant ideas for a successful business? Did you know that this alone may not guarantee success? In America, over 1 million small businesses are founded each year, but 40% of them fail within the first year, and 80% within the first five years. This is due to what is known as the e-myth or entrepreneurial myth. This assumption is that technical expertise and a great idea alone are sufficient to succeed in business. Many individuals start their own businesses because they have excelled in a certain work field and want to be their own boss. However, running a business requires a completely different set of skills that are not related to technical work. Imagine a barista who has perfected coffee-making skills and has great ideas to run a cafe and decides to start their own cafe. However, shortly after starting the business, they discover that they lack the skills to hire and manage employees and to grow their business. This is the fundamental misunderstanding behind the e-myth. To start and grow a business successfully requires a set of skills beyond technical expertise. This book demystifies the e-myth and explains why it is crucial to have a different skill set for running a business. Entrepreneurs must be willing to learn and develop critical business management skills to ensure success. Business Growth Stages Businesses, like people, go through different stages from infancy to adolescence and finally maturity. In the infancy stage, the business owner handles everything herself, but as the business grows, the workload becomes too much to handle. Hiring employees marks the adolescent stage, which requires the owner to manage by delegation instead of abdication. The owner must step out of her comfort zone and let go of control for the business to thrive. Instead of shrinking or letting the growth of the business get out of control, the owner should plan for the opportunity of growth from day one. Building a business with an entrepreneurial perspective To build a successful business, you need to plan from the beginning with an entrepreneurial perspective. Successful businesses focus on building a structure that works without being dependent on the owner always being there. This means considering the future and planning how the business will look, feel, and work towards its goals. Instead of focusing on the technical work, an entrepreneur asks how the business will work as a whole. To implement an entrepreneurial perspective, an entrepreneurial model is needed. The entrepreneurial model is a plan for the business that satisfies potential customers' needs in an innovative way. It includes the market opportunities, the ideal customer, and the product delivery. A business owner may have to take time to ponder their perspective and model to save the business. For the example of a barista, she would need to determine her target customer and how to satisfy their needs innovatively to set her cafe apart from the competition. The three personalities you need to succeed in business. We consist of battling personalities, including the innovator, manager, and technician. The entrepreneur sees opportunities and is intently focused on the future, while the manager is pragmatic and craves order. The technician likes controlling the workflow and getting things done. Although they seem at odds with each other, utilizing the strengths of each is crucial for running a successful business. The Turnkey Revolution The Turnkey Revolution is changing the way businesses are created and run. It involves building a predictable and replicable model that can be successfully operated by anyone without the owner's presence. 
This is accomplished through business format franchises, which provide the franchisee with the model, processes, organizations, and systems needed to run the business. The success rate for franchises is significantly higher than for small businesses, with 75% succeeding compared to 80% failing. By selling the entire business, including its processes and systems, to franchisees, businesses in the turnkey revolution are appealing to buy. Ray Kroc is credited with starting the turnkey revolution with McDonald's by creating a precisely replicable hamburger stand and defining processes that anyone could follow, making the franchisee his real customer. Building a successful franchise To build a successful franchise, you need to create a prototype that provides value to customers while being simple enough for anyone to operate. Value can be delivered through reasonable prices, excellent customer service, or other perks. It is important to design systems that do not rely on experts and to document every process in an operations manual. Predictable service is crucial for customer retention and future franchisees. By following these steps, you can create a franchise that is easy to replicate and profitable for all parties involved. The importance of knowing your primary aim in business. Starting a business can provide us with more than just a 9 to 5 job. To ensure that the business we establish will give us the life we want, we need to know our primary aim first. It's the most crucial step in building a successful business. By asking ourselves questions about what we care about, how we want to live, how much money we want, and how much we want to travel, we can determine our primary aim. Once identified, this primary aim becomes the basis for creating a strategic objective, which lists the objectives that our business needs to fulfill. The objectives specified in our strategic objective are necessary to support our primary aim, and it enables us to measure our progress towards our ultimate goal. It also serves as a tool for franchising our business. Aside from financial projections, it should also contain why our business is worth pursuing in the type of business we are into. By using strategic objectives, we can ensure that our business satisfies our primary aim. Organizing your business. Creating an organizational strategy is crucial for any business. Without a clear plan that outlines each employee's responsibilities, your business will not succeed. Even if you're a one-person business, consider the number of employees you'll need and their specific job duties. Each position should have a position contract that outlines who the employee reports to, the work that must be completed, and the standards the employee's work will be judged by. This strategy also ensures accountability, with each employee responsible for their assigned work. By establishing a clear organizational strategy, your business will be on its way to achieving its strategic objectives and fulfilling your primary aim. The Power of a People-Centric Management Strategy A successful management strategy requires a people-centric approach that treats employees as a marketing tool. The way employees are managed affects the products customers receive. A people strategy, connecting work to meaning, and testing employees against standards are crucial components of a great management system. For instance, a creative business objective can be maintained by encouraging employees to push their limits and design unique cake schedules. This helps employees reach their potential, creating better products for customers. Customer-centric marketing To create a successful marketing strategy, focus on understanding your customers' demographics and psychographics. Gathering this information can be as simple as asking your customers to fill out a small survey. Once you have a clear understanding of your customers, tailor your marketing to appeal to them specifically. It's important to consistently gather and analyze data to make informed marketing decisions, such as changing your approach if your customer demographics shift or your advertising methods become less effective. By taking a customer-centric approach, you can create a predictable and successful marketing strategy for your business. The importance of system strategy in business. Building a successful business requires an interdependent system strategy that encompasses everything from management to marketing. Within this strategy, three main categories of systems must work together, hard systems, inanimate objects, soft systems, ideas and living things, and information systems, data. 
All of these systems must be interdependent and developed together to ensure success. For example, a barista wanting to upgrade her espresso machine must consider how such a change would impact her employees and customers. If any of the systems are compromised, the business will suffer. Therefore, it is crucial to have a system strategy that facilitates interaction and development among all components of the business. The Business Development Process Creating successful business innovation requires constant innovation, quantification, and orchestration in the never-ending process of tweaking, testing, and measuring. The key to successful innovation lies in innovating your business rather than your product. Quantification, which involves measuring everything, is crucial in determining the effectiveness of your innovation. Orchestration involves putting innovation into practice and constantly watching its impact in real life. The three steps of the business development process aren't necessarily chronological but happen together all the time, driving your business toward success. By the end of The E-Myth Revisited, you will have learned the importance of planning for business growth beyond just your technical expertise. By assessing your entrepreneurial perspective, implementing your entrepreneurial model, and recognizing the roles and innovative processes required for success, your business stands a better chance of thriving in a competitive market. Gerber highlights the key aspects of a successful franchise prototype, management and marketing strategies, and a system strategy that ensures the smooth operation and interaction of various business components. By applying these principles and insights, you will be better equipped to start your business journey or revitalize an established venture, avoiding the pitfalls faced by many small business owners.